In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and embed YouTube videos in Microsoft Excel and also how to add application files in Microsoft Excel. So I have two videos here. These are YouTube videos and these are the URLs. So I'm going to embed these two videos in Microsoft Excel. One is from McCann's Academy and the other one is from NASA. So to do that, I'll click insert here. On the right side, click on get add-ins and on the search section, type web video. So this is the add-in. Click on add, click continue and just drag it on the right side. So I can paste the URL of the video from YouTube or Vimeo. So this is a YouTube URL. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. So I have three options here. I have autoplay. I can check this if I want the video to autoplay. And I also have start at and end at. So on the start at option, I can start the video, for example, 10 seconds into the video. You can also do that at the end at option. I'm going to click set video. So this is the video. Now I can adjust the size of this video. I can drag it here. Now I can remove this URL here and I can make this video smaller. Hold the end of the video with the mouse and drag it here. So I can do this with the other video. I can copy this URL, click on the insert tab. So on the right side, I will click on my add-ins. There's a drop down tab and these are the recently used add-ins. Web video player. I'll click on that, paste the URL. I'm going to leave it as is, click set video. I'm going to make this smaller, remove this URL, and I'm going to drag it here. And I can play right from the Excel sheet because the videos are embedded in this Excel sheet. So if I want to make this video bigger when I play it, if I click on this expand tab, it would not work. So to show this video on a full screen, I have to click on the YouTube name here and it will open up in YouTube. So I have an MP3 audio clip and I want to embed it here. I'll click on insert and on the right side, click on the text tab. There's a drop down tab here. And on the right side, click on object. Now I have all these options here. It says object types. So I want to select create from file. I get a browse tab here. So these are my files. This is the MP3. Click insert. I'm going to click OK. And this is the MP3 file. And if I want to play this, all I have to do is just double click the file and I can click open and the audio file will play. So I want to add an MP4 video file. So to do that, I'll click on the insert tab here. Click on text. Click on object. Click create from file. I'll browse for the file. This is the mp4 video file. I'll click insert. Now I have two options here. It says link to a file and display as icon. So if I select link to a file, this will just be a link. So if I leave it as is, it is attached to the Excel file. I'll click OK and the video file is added. Now the video file is attached to the Excel sheet and I can email this Excel and it will include the video file. So I can play this video file. All I have to do is just double click and I can play the video here. Now if I delete the video file, I can still play the video because the video file is added on to Excel. I can also add a PDF document. I'll click insert, click on the text tab, click on object, select create from file. So this is the PDF document. I'll click insert, I'll click OK. And this is how it shows. Now the PDF is embedded in Excel, so I can make this smaller. All I have to do is drag the ends here so another way of adding a PDF document, I'll click insert, click on the text tab, select object, create from file, browse, click insert, and I'm going to select display as icon. I'll click OK. And this is how it shows. Now I can double click this and it will open up as a PDF document. So I'm going to add a PowerPoint document. I'll click insert on the text tab here. Click on object, create from file, 
I'll browse to the presentation document, click insert, click OK. And the PowerPoint document shows like this. I can expand it, I can move it around. And when I double click, it will open. So if I go back to insert, click on the text tab, object, create from file, browse for the presentation document, click insert, and I'll select display as icon. I'll click on change icon. And I have these options here. I can change the icon. Now I can also change the name here. If this is a longer name, I can type click PowerPoint click OK, click OK, and this is how it shows up. And when I double click on it, it opens up. I can also add a Word document. So I'm going to click on Insert, click on the drop down tab here on the text, click on Object, Create from File, Browse, and this is the Word document. Click Insert, click OK, and this is how it shows. This is the Word document, and I can adjust this. I can also add it as an icon on the insert tab click on text object create from file browse select the word document click insert and i'm going to select display as icon i can also change the icon and i can also rename it here click ok and it's here and i can double click it and it opens so when i'm done i can click on file save as and i can email this excel to someone so I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.